world or YouTube, whatever you want to be called. Welcome to our new tutorial. And in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is editing our should be last script for our character customization. So we already know what we've got so far. If you haven't seen it, go back and look at previous tutorials, else you will be lost because we have done quite a few stuff. But what we're going to do is open up our start select script, and in here, um, we've got to start editing our start. So when you think of a character's stats, what's the first thing you think of? And by stats, I mean attributes, personality kind of thing. Well, we need name, we need um, stamina, stuff like that. So we can like give them, say, here's 10 points, assign it to what you want them to be. They can properly customize what the character wants to be like. So it's really cool. So in order to do a GUI text box, it's slightly different to a normal label, but with like one or two minor changes. So to start, let's design a GUI label. So select this and press Control Q to comment it all out in um, Notepad++ only. And select your name. So we're going to type um, GUI dot text box. I believe it's text box. It could be text field. But then what we're going to do is copy the rect from here because we this is where we actually want it to be anyway. But we're going to adjust the X size to say 200 bit better and we'll put a comma then um, we'll leave that we'll put an empty string in there for a minute because I'll explain in a minute then you put what character size you want so how many characters in your text box we'll say 300 default so in order to do it we first need to create a, pr a string so we'll type private var char name colon string capital S equals um, Dragoon, I don't know. Dragoon, yeah, that'll do. Semicolon. So, before this text box, we need to put char name equals GUI text box, and in our string, we put char name. So, basically, what this will do is set char name equals to create a new GUI text box, blah, 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 blah. But whatever you type inside char name, it'll be char name, so it's constantly updating itself. If you didn't have this here, it wouldn't update itself, which wouldn't be very good. But the character limit is how many characters you can have in it total. So we've done that. Now that's it. We should just test and it should work. Text box is not a member of GUI, so it could be text field. I always get the two mixed up because in Visual Studio for C sharp it's vi box, which is quite annoying. So we'll be male this time. Select your name, Dragoon. There we go. So we'll get rid and we'll choose YouTube. Our character's name can be YouTube. We don't need to press enter or anything. We just click off it and there's your name. So we're going to put it down a little bit, move it up. We'll fix that a little bit. So instead of, say, 30 for height, we'll say 20. Um, we don't need none of these boxes here, but we will keep them anyway so we can print something else. So um, that one. Next, next, next. There we go. So, Dragoon, that's better. YouTube. Click off. And we've got a character. We can choose a... What else should we have? Well, let's start doing our, our basic stats then. So, copy all of this up here. Select your stats. And instead of select your name, we will say select your... Health. Hmm. Health, yeah. I don't know how to spell endurance, so I'm not going to pull that one. Health. But we need a max limit of their things they can take, so like points. So I'll put private var available points equals 10. So yeah, we'll just go with 10. But for health, we can't just give them, well, here's 101 health, here's 102 health, that'd be crap. So instead, what we'll do is say 1 point for 10 health, so they can have increased by 10. That'll be good. So we will need to eventually edit our pro our real character health to support this feature, but it won't be hard, I promise you. So we don't need this no more, do we? Hmm, thinking the best way to do it. No, we don't. So what we do is uncomment all these, Control Q again. So instead of saying next, we'll say new point. In fact, increase. And decrease. 
So increase a point, decrease a point. Seems simple enough. Um, we need to move all this down again, which is never the best option. So if we look at here, how they move down, 300, 300 apparently, that one, 150. So it moves down in 50s. So I believe this one will be 200. And this one will be 200 as well. So, and this one will be 200 as well. So let's try that. Because if that looks like it works, then we can begin. Next, next, next. Oh, it needs to move the opposite way. So, 50. Not 500, that would be terrible. We'll not see it. So that works, we know. So increase, we need to look back at how we... Well, we don't need to look back, we can go into this now. Uh, yep. So, if and our available points... So, if available points, we're increasing it. So, if available points is more than... E equal to or more than... Opposite way. 1. So, if it equals 1, or if it's more than 1, you can increase it. But if it's lower than that, which is 0 you can't increase then it will available points minus minus which is opposite to plus plus if you know you get a brown it I'm going to tell you it is minus by one you can also have plus plus which we'll cover in a minute um, available points plus plus and where's our health well we don't have one so let's create one private var char health this will be an int equals 100 because it'll default the start off as 100. Your health plus equals 10. And we'll copy all of this and paste it in here. If it's. Hmm. If, if it's lower than 10. I don't know. If it's lower or equal to than 9, because then we can increase it by 1. Then available points plus plus and char health minus minus. But now we need something to sh say this is your current health. So let's have a just quick look and see what any ideas spring to mind because I just don't know off the top of my end. So health could go up a bit more, so we'll say 25, but hmm, where should we put it? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. In your select, where it says select your stats here, we'll put plus. You, in fact, currently have. You currently have plus. Put a space after it. Available points plus points left. So, what that'll do is. Um, change select your stats to let's move it across a little bit minus 100 select your stats colon you currently have space show available points dot to string as a glitch points left so you have 10 points left every time we update it 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 blah blah so we need to show you, select your health so we can drag all this back up because it's not liking being down there 75, 75, 75. Select your health minus 400. Um, you currently have plus char health dot to string plus you have currently have. Let's try that. Yeah. I think that'll work. It's all about testing and programming, isn't it? So, next, next, next. Select your health, you currently have 100. Decrease, increase, there we go. So we can't increase it. Start works perfect. Um, I'm really tempted to move the buttons up. Yeah, I'll move these buttons up a little bit. I don't know, it just doesn't look very good there. 100. Oh, that's why. The other ones were 100. No wonder it's far down. Yeah, that, that'll work. 
Let's try it. I hope some of you join my Facebook group as well, because then I, I have some people to talk to to get to know my YouTube followers. But yeah, so. So we have that. What else shall we do? Hmm. Damage? No, yeah, we'll do strength because strength's cool. So here, char strength um, equals 100. That's not true. Hmm, best way to think about this. We'll just say 10. So his current strength is 10, that's the default. I don't know why, it's just 10. That'll work, I think, I hope. So we'll duplicate that to there, duplicate strength. Select your strength. You currently have that much strength. And what we can do is like instead of saying he does a hundred damage, because that'll kill most enemies in one shot, we could do say divide it by three. So at the moment he's doing probably 2.5 damage, so which seems realistic, I think. I don't know. Um, if Avella points is more than that, so we can increase char strength by 1. Char strength can't walk by many. If we decrease it by 10, we fail. But yeah. So now we need to move all this down again. So 100 to 50. Let's try 50, 50, 50. Let's test. Next, next, next. Perfect. But strength could be across a little bit. So you now have 20 damage, so basically you do double damage then. You can't decrease more than that because it'll be bad, but yeah. So there we go. Perfect. So like your name, Dragoon, and our next button will finish. Of course, that fails at the moment. So let's just move this. You currently have. Change it from currently to have, because that would be easier. And there, that's it. So hide some of these so we can actually see what we're doing. There we go. So in our next button here, instead of next, we'll say finish. And this will be finish too. So we don't need to move the camera anywhere, but we do need to disable the objects, that's right. Um, we could just quickly. We are going to add more things to this, but I'm actually out of ideas, so um, please comment below, comment below or Facebook group to tell me some more things to put in, because we do need to put more things in. And I've just noticed we don't have our player apps open. Entity, player attributes. So here we'll paste it, and we'll type static var char name, wait player underscore char main string equals dragony because it is a girl isn't it remember dragony um, we can duplicate this be an int an int again char health char strength and strength health this will be a hundred and this will be ten. So all we do now is set these and then we're done. We can safely say the next tutorial sh should be extra features or it will either be extra features or it will be what you call it, transferring the character which is the hard part. Oh this was actually easy but yeah. So play name equals that um, equals that and equals that so let's go and select player attributes again the player attributes dot char name equals char name player attributes dot char health equals char health and char strength equals char strength that's it so we can print here, print 
next level. Um, we do need to put some sounds into this because it will be very boring at the moment. But yeah, that's the next for a couple of times. 19, player attributes, what have we done? No semicolon. Try again. Will be female, next. Larger, smaller, next. Uh, let's make him naked, yeah. That'll do. Next. Dragoon. Oh, we, in, we need to transfer all the armor on as well. We'll do that next time. So, increase his health by 200 so he's super strong. Finish. That's it. So, once we transfer the armor to it, we'll add some sounds. And um, I have some great sounds available for the voices of the characters. So, thank you for watching, and see you next time.